Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Medipedia. Uh, so we have Dr. Savijan, who is Dean of the Faculty of Samarkand State Medical University. Exactly. Like earlier, we met in Uzbekistan. So this time we are meeting in India right. uh, in the office. So mm -hmm. uh, how was your trip to India? Like how are you feeling when you are in India? <laughs> so uh, Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Namaste. Dear my friends. Uh, yes, we have met already in our mm -hmm. Samarkand State yes, Medical yes. University before this visit. Uh, connected with our some professional issues yes. so we came here to have uh, some connect medical centers private either or government so this is our main goal to visit your country whatever uh, your plans and suggestions are they are very effective for indian students also like uh, in the september intake uh, many indian students whenever we used to asked to students like which university you want to go to Uzbekistan majority students had the choice to go to Samarkand State Medical University so what is the reason that <laughs> this university is in so much demand for Indian so students? very good question actually just I have to say that Samarkand State Medical University one of the oldest university mm -hmm. not only in Uzbekistan but in the, our Central Asia as well okay. nowadays uh, the number of uh, foreign students uh, more than 3200 mm -hmm. And majority of the students are from India. Yes. I have to say this truth. Yes. Except in India, we have students from Morocco, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Turkey as well. And we have uh, some students from Korea and yes. Russia. I would like to say a very, a very important point that uh, our outman intake in September, uh, we had uh, around thousand mm -hmm. foreign mm -hmm. students if i will tell you exact number it is 943 students from okay. abroad and majority of the students are from india, india. Okay. It is one of the oldest universities in Central Asia. Medipedia students are also studying at Samarkand. They are very satisfied with the education and the clinical exposure they are getting. So we are also getting daily basis good feedback for Samarkand University. Like when we send students to the university, their students are happy. So we are also very happy in that. Exactly. And the most important thing is that students are getting a good education. But the main thing is that how we are planning for their like exit exam clearing because it is very important. Even six years they are doing good, but if they are not able to qualify the like the license exam back in mm -hmm. India, then mm -hmm. then also it is not that much important. So how university is handling so that maximum students can qualify and how is the FMG foreign exam results are coming from this university? Very good point. Actually, our university try to do our best to. Uh, create good condition for education of uh, foreign students. So it's not easy to be as a medical doctor. You know yes, it very yes, well yes. because the person who wants to be as a medical doctor, he must study very hard. It's very difficult to be as a good medical doctor. So why uh, in our university we have uh, teachers even from abroad, okay. foreign teachers who are supporting us uh, for in education process. And I have to say that uh, students are very, very hardworking persons. I mean, the foreign students, because nowadays we set it as a, for the local students. So we have the uh, MCQ exam. This is uh, test based exam. They have to pass this exam, and then they have a oral writing exam as well. And uh, I think a very good view uh, result of the education the foreign student is uh, your national medical committee exam yes. in your country yes now in the in the summer we have uh, uh, more than 100 students who will graduate our university so we will see i hope uh, they will get good results in my uh, country yes. uh, so we have a final state exam it's uh, divided to two parts the first part is OSCE exams yes. and the second one is uh, test-based exam, MCQ exams. Yes. So they have to pass two types of exams, then they will graduate our university, they will get diploma for as a general practitioner. Yes. And after uh, passing exam in your country, they have to pass internship as well. Yes. yes. Then they are becoming the equal the medical doctor doctors. in your country. We have a very big, very good, very new equipped medical yeah. library okay. for the students. It's very important for the students and for the first course and second course students, we have organized already 
some language courses as well. I mean the Russian or Uzbek language because it will be easy for the students to communicate with the patients. I think you have to talk with the, uh, our students because they have access to the operation theater, no yes. problem. They have access to the uh, patients, yes. no problem. We have interacted with the students, even Medipedia, 5th year, 6th year students are there in Samarkand, yeah. who are there and they were telling me that they are getting rural services. Means exactly. they are going to multiple exactly. hospitals in exactly. rural areas right. and in the Samarkand and multiple exactly. settings. So they were very happy with the clinical exposure. Thank you so sure. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.